We've got an ICC class, Intercultural Communications, taught by Becky White, who's been here even more years than I. Um, and she has a class at 8, 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock. I wouldn't go to both, I'd just go to one, like the 9 o'clock. Right, 8 o'clock, I think, is eight, for some people. 8 o'clock doesn't usually happen <laughs> for our students, but unfortunately we have a few 8 o'clock classes. And then we have a Fiction and Poetry, which is a... Um, also a freshman, it's a freshman class and it's at 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock. So you could do the 8 o'clock at 1 and the, I mean 9 o'clock at 1 and then 10 o'clock at the other. And then on Thursday, if you want to be adventurous at 8 in the morning, we have a creative writing class. And some of the students are going to be doing presentations. I guess on something they've written, I don't know. Um, and then it, from 10 to 12, we have um, one of our lower level English class. We have three kind of levels. One is basic, and then we have a regular, and then we have advanced. And some of the advanced students probably speak English as well as you do. Um, so if you wanted to see what a basic class was, then Maple would be glad to have you. She just needs to know when you're coming, or if you're coming, so mm -hmm. she can kind of gear her uh, what she does, right. so it could be interactive and use you. Yeah, that's what I wanted to find out a little bit. Most of the kids, most of the students on campus speak good English or all mixed? Mixed. Basic um, students, I, how familiar are you with the TOEFL score? TOEFL, it's yeah, the, okay, okay it's the know. test for levels of English language. Um, The regular students, as long as you don't use a lot of idioms and you don't talk real fast, they can pretty much carry on a good conversation. Uh, our AP um, students, our advanced placement students, there's not too much trouble. Um, the basic students, um, I have a little more trouble understanding you. So if you look at somebody and you talk with them and they kind of glaze over, then you can kind of figure out which, which group we're in. Um, on Friday, we have a TESOL practicum, a teaching English practicum, where four of our seniors actually go into a, a public school right down the street and they teach English. And so that's like at 8.45 on Friday for about less than an hour. And then there's another, well, we do that. We'll just cross that out. So that would, that's really all that is on Friday, unless you go to fiction and poetry, but that's also another day. Many of our classes are in the afternoon, like our Brit Lit, American Lit, are in the afternoon. Um, but they have you scheduled in the afternoon? Yeah, I think they, they, they go. Yeah. They go and play? Go to a then Wednesday. Wednesday? Yeah. Okay. And Saturday, I didn't hear that here from Matthews. I went to the whole world. Unfortunately, Matthew's in the wrong country. Yeah, we heard that. Yeah, Matthew had talked about taking them to the yeah. National Palace Museum. Museum. Mm -hmm. Great. Or we're coming back um, the end of the month, uh, the 20, um, the 20. Seven. Yeah. No, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, and then we leave on twenty-nine. So I mean, we could always work in the National Palace Museum at that time sure. too. Sure. But that would be a, a, a good thing for the guys. Uh, National Palace has it's got a lot of a lot of good stuff. Oh, I mean, this is a lot. Um, it's also got a real good gift shop. Some inexpensive gifts if you have to take something home to your mother or your sister or your little friend. It's got some good stuff there. You nailed it, right? Students <laughs> art in class, they speak to each other in Mandarin. Chinese. Chinese, yeah. Mm -hmm. Unless they see you. Unless they see you. And then they, they will, will want to a yes. lot will want to talk with you. Yeah. If no. um if if you if you want something like if you want to meet with, 
Okay, which one are you? I got your all your stuff here. This is Robert. Robert. Um, we've got a guy from China who likes to talk about God. Mm -hmm. uh, anything's good. Uh -huh. I would like to go to that creative writing where they present. That's yeah, Friday. creative writing tomorrow morning. Or not tomorrow. Oh, oh, the one Thursday that, morning. The one we're presenting. Yeah, that's Thursday morning. Mm -hmm. I'll do that for you. Yeah, okay. Um, if, you'd, if you'd like, like I said, if, if there's some kind of students that you'd like to meet with that are English majors that I know of, we can try to hook you up. Eric is from the mainland, mainland China, and he likes to talk about his faith and what's going on. He also mm -hmm. likes to improve his English. So he meets with my husband for a Bible study. He also meets with uh, another a retired pastor that lives on campus just, just for English. Mm -hmm. So we have people like that. Yeah, Robert, Robert is, uh, he's in a pre-seminary tract. Okay. And uh, uh, Kyle, this is Kyle. Kyle, yeah. and you're a psych, psych major. Psych. I was a psych major. And Ryan, international studies. International. International man of mystery, we prefer. Okay. Uh, and you're all minoring in Bible ministry, that means you have to have a Bible minor. Okay, you don't have to, no. Yeah. You don't have to? No. Yeah. Oh, okay. Where my you have kids, to have Bible class. You have to have one Bible, Bible class. Yeah. 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 Okay, because all of my children all went to Columbia International University. They had to have a Bible. They mm -hmm. all majored in Bible and then something else. So. If you don't mm -hmm. mind me asking, what is you and your husband's background prior to coming to Taiwan? Okay. Um, we, we both graduated from the University of South Carolina in psychology. My husband worked seven years in a psych hospital. And after praying for about six and a half years for God to let him out, um, <laughs> God let him out. And we felt called to missions. And have you ever heard of Keith Green? Okay. You probably know some of his songs, but he died a long time ago. Um, Hum a few bars. I can't. My husband is the hummer. <laughs> but we went to one of his memorial concerts, and we, through missions, um, conferences at our church, we just felt led to go overseas. Mm -hmm. So my husband and I, uh, he quit his job. We went back to school. He got a master's in intercultural studies with a certificate in teaching English. Um, we kept looking for where to go, and all the mission reps at the school kept saying, well, what denomination are you? You should go with your home denomination, which is Presbyterian Church in America, mm -hmm. which is what the school is affiliated with. Is Waynesburg PCUSA? What PCUSA? Okay. Although we're, we're probably more PCA than PCUSA. And okay. we have different professors who are all along the spectrum, too. Oh, okay. I'm RCA. I'm RCA. Okay, I got, I got the RCA. I know that one. Um, anyway, we talked with PCA, the MTW, that's the mission, and we said, where, where do you want to, you know, what can we do? We, he teaches English, where do we go? And they said, well, we have work in Peru, Japan, and Taiwan. And about two months later, we got a letter from, J from Taiwan saying, we're so glad you're coming to Taiwan. <laughs> and you talk about a... a Telegram from God. We went. That's a call right there. We are not sure where the country of Taiwan is, so we got to map out. And it's been perfect because we love living on campus. We love college students. How many years has it been? Uh, we've been teaching here. We've been on the island since '91. Whoa, that's a long time. Wasn't even yeah. born yet. Yeah, I know. Still, still, <laughs> no. still a concept. We, um, our children were in first grade, third grade, and fifth grade. Oh, they we went to school here? Came. Yeah, so they went to the missionary school here and then the international school. And they're now back in the States, all married, all finished school. The guys all have jobs. Um, and I have nine grandchildren. So, and we, we love it. We just, we, we love teaching. We love working with students. Uh, we don't love all of it, but if you ask any professors, not all of it they want to do. So, um, but we really enjoy being here. Good story. And I, and my husband works full time. Like I said, he's head of the English office for this year, and then he'll go back to being a 
regular teacher. And I teach part time, and then I do other things like help, like the apartment that you're going to be staying in over here. Right. Mm -hmm. I have some friends and I help to re to do that. To <laughs> rehab it. Redo it. Redo yes. It was, it was a, a dorm mother's room and then a school a, a regular dorm room and we had to knock a hole through and had it painted and uh, decorated. I don't know what kind of shape it's in. I mean it's clean but uh, anyway and we're working on two more guest apartments mm -hmm. now so we do that. And I am always looking for guys and girls that would like to come over and do an internship here for six months or a year and live in our guys dorm and um, work with our students. So if you're interested, or if you know somebody that might be interested, uh, they really, need, especially for the guys, they really need to be sold out to following God. David is our counselor in the guy's dorm, and so um, we've never had a guy live in the dorm. Mm -hmm. We've had girls live in the dorm and help, but we've never had guys, so I'm mm -hmm. looking for some they go Ryan, right? So, RA, right? And international studies. And international studies. Turn but, your application. But you do not have to do any of that um, heavy disciplinary discipline stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are a few rules that if they break, you have to tell. But you just befriend them in Bible studies and hang around. If you want to, you want to help some teachers in the classroom. Be careful, Brian. You could get something. that letter that's going to just yeah. come and say, "Well, we're glad you're coming." Yeah. <laughs> and you don't have to be PCA, but you have to come through our mission board because that's how we funnel people in to do our checking it out and stuff like that. Um, I don't have it with me, but I have some mosquito stuff that you plug into the wall and it lets out a little bit of whatever to kill mosquitoes. And um, I'm going to give y'all, are y'all, are they in the same dorm room? Right. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I need to get some more filler, but I'll give y'all two and I'll give y'all two because we've had people that have stayed after the first night, they say they're eating me a So Sandy's already being eaten. <laughs> I, I, I'm now wearing socks and shoes instead of um, sandals because they just eat me. Mm -hmm. After 4 o'clock, I'll pretty much have long sleeves on, but they just like me. <laughs> just tastes good. Also, uh, she said they have sleeping bags for yeah. y'all to sleep in. Two for each one. Two for each one? Yes. Okay. But the beds don't have mattresses? Uh, they don't do that here. Right. They don't require. It's just hard. Oh, so, good. I, do. I have, good, you and my son. Um, I have some little mats, and, and they're pretty comfortable. So if, if you want them, I am offering them to you. I will not bring them to you. I live on the third floor. You can come and get them. <laughs> but you're more than welcome to borrow them. I have two, and somebody else has another one. So if you want to if you want to break the night and not use them, you're welcome to. If you want to, I live on the third floor, three B, next to the girls' dorm. So, and if you anything else you forgot, like a towel or whatever, if you're interested, um, I keep those things for our interns. So. Yeah, I don't know. You, you 